Neymar's new body is shocking, but in a good way this time. In this video, he seems to have lost the extra weight he gained over the winter. He is determined to come back as soon as possible. The Brazilian is in full recovery after tearing his left knee's anterior cruciate ligament in October with the Brazilian team. He won't be able to play in the Copa America, but he aims to be ready for the start of the Saudi season. People are shocked to see him skinny again. With Neymar, I can't understand anything. You see him on Monday, he's chubby. You see him on Thursday, he's skinny. It's true that lately he's been talked about for gaining some weight, but Neymar is a top level athlete, so he eats accordingly, except that when he stops, if he doesn't change his diet, he gains weight quickly, very quickly. In early January, this photo of him at Romario's birthday party shocked people, for example. It's true that between his beginnings at Santos and his end at PSG, there has been a real evolution in his physique. He was very skinny until his signing with PSG. Then when he started to suffer repeated serious injuries in Paris, he bulked up a bit. But now he is more in line with his job as a footballer that he will resume very soon. By the way, since Neymar is out for the Copa America, it's Rodrigo from Real Madrid who will take his number 10 in the Brazilian team. Talking about weight gain, Usman Dembele doesn't have that issue. And so, the guy didn't hesitate to have his best pizza in the French team's locker room on Wednesday during France-Luxembourg. Dembouz calmly eats his rain pizza with extra hot sauce in front of Didier Deschamps. He didn't say anything since Usman Dembélé was out due to suffering from nasopharyngitis for a few days. Nothing like a good pizza to get back on track. Antonio Rudiger does the same when he comes out of a Champions League match with Real Madrid. He eats his best pizza. Didier Deschamps didn't say anything because he knows that Usman Dembélé is now more serious than before with his lifestyle. But other coaches would have lost it. Sometimes player coach clashes are inevitable. Like the time Roberto Mancini grabbed Mario Balotelli by the bib. The photo is crazy. While the reason isn't that much in reality, I had told the players not to make stupid fouls on Clichy who was coming back from injury. And there, Mario made a too strong tackle on him. I was furious. I grabbed Mario by the collar, wanting to push him away, but since he is physically strong, I had a hard time moving him. In the images, it looks like we came to blows, but that was not the case. In February 2003, Sir Alex Ferguson and David Beckham had a falling out after a defeat, and it went a bit too far. He was three meters from me. There was a pair of shoes between him and me. David started insulting me. I walked towards him, and as I got closer, I threw a shoe. It hit him just above the eye. Sir Alex accused David Beckham of changing too much after his marriage to Spice Girl Victoria. In the end, he changed a lot after the dispute since he left for Real Madrid. When you look at Mourinho from the outside, you get the impression that he is either funny or extremely strict. In the locker room after a Clasico in 2011, he lost it because his team lineup was released in Marca the morning of the match. He became completely hysterical. You are traitors. I asked you not to tell anyone about the team lineup, but you betrayed me. This shows that you are not on my side. You are sons of <laughs> Nothing but sons of <laughs> He then launched the hunt for the mole, and for him, the mole was Casillas. Cristiano Ronaldo validated Kylian Mbappe's arrival at Real Madrid on Instagram with this comment. It's my turn to watch you. Can't wait to see you light up the Santiago Bernabeu, holla Madrid, and it pleases Real Madrid fans. Because CR7 broke a new record on Instagram, the one for the comment receiving the most likes, the Portuguese's response has indeed surpassed 5.2 million likes at the time I'm speaking to you. I said new record on Insta because Cristiano is already the most followed person with 631 M followers. Kylian Mbappe helps break records, okay? but he still isn't likely to be loved in Argentina with his recent statements. He said he found the Euro harder to win than the World Cup, a statement to which his former Argentine PSG teammate Leandro Paredes responded. He said the Euro was harder than the World Cup. He won a World Cup, but not the Euro. We won the Copa America, the finalissima, the World Cup, and we know how hard it is. Let him think and say what he wants. Never play in Argentina, Kalian. Just a little advice.